All right, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to draw the sword, all right, without cutting your hand. So you begin from this Caesar position. You can do it from a standing position, which you could do and practice as much as possible. I'm doing it inside, I know my ceiling is quite low, so I'm going to concentrate on stay down in this Caesar position. I'm going to try and break it down into little parts for you so you can see each step and where the hands are positioned as we go through this. Main thing here is relax my shoulders, so I like to relax them because again, you don't want to be uh, tight in your shoulders and then grab and be aggressive with it. If you force it too much, that's when you start cutting the scabbard and trying to draw one more than the other. So both hands have to work together. So starting off right now is from here, I'm gonna reach and grab hold. Place your hand, so from here, my right thumb, as you can see, is on the side, not in the middle. So if the, draw, the blade draws out, that my thumb hits the blade. So make sure that you're on the side. My thumb tip is just touching on the top, right here as well. So that allows me to push and pull in, not wrap your thumb over, just your thumb. That's all you need. Be able to push and pull, push and pull with your thumb. You don't want to wrap it over, all right? I know that you want to control and, and keep that nice and tight, but all you want to do is a quick release with that thumb. All right, make sure that this cord part is on the outside and you're curving this way not rolled over, all right? Otherwise you're gonna have difficulties. So as I grab, I'm using my thumb. Now we're gonna start from the center point from here. When I wanna start drawing, I'm gonna place my hand up. So my other can comes up and I'm gonna create a bit of a V shape like this, all right? So my little finger is sitting on top, not so much square, that I, my hand comes in here, so my little finger is sitting on top of the handle. I'm not grabbing it tight in against the Subra either. I'm just in here in a comfortable position. Once you sit there, then I use my thumb and I push forward. So as I do that, it releases. At this point here, I now extend my right arm as we come forward. Once you've got that position, you extend forward and I'm just going to raise up onto my knees. So here, my little finger is on the end. From this point here, I'm going to turn. And as this happens, that'll draw, you know, I'm going to use my left hand and draw that backwards. All right. So my right hand's going as far as it can go. So I'm going to draw back the left hand and it should pop out. Once the blade is out, as you can see, my little finger is on top. I'm gonna to squeeze that little finger in the next swing as it comes around like such. Then I'm ready for the cut. Once it's out, I'm going to use my little finger and I'm going to collapse nice and tight. And as I do that, you can notice that the blade comes around. I'm not collapsing it tight, I'm still in a good gripping position, and then I come across and cut nice and flat and parallel with the floor. As I do this, I'm going to stamp with my right foot. In the form, the first form, you bring the scabbard back and then you get ready to do your first try. But today we're only concentrating on drawing the sword. 